Ladies and gentlemen, and all creatures of the internet. Some of you are almost as creature as me. I have just seen Goblin. Which, it's hard to find this film because it is a uh, 2020 release with a single name and, well, yes. Anyway, before I go any further, let me say that first off, you can find Goblin on Prime for four bucks. And second of all, for every thousand subscribers I get, I'm going to purchase one of these bracelets from the company 4Ocean. And 4Ocean is going to pull a pound of trash out of the ocean for me. So, well, for all of us, really. For every bracelet. So, the more popular I am on this thing, the better the world will be. Come on, guys. Help a brother out. Help yourself out. Help the world out. Comment, like, subscribe. Show me some love. Show me some love. Except for you, Craig. I know you're watching. I don't mean like that. I'm not into dudes. Anyway. So, Goblin, what happens? You see, you have this, uh, this, uh, MILF here with his total rockin' body. She's a porcelain. Which means she's very, very fair-skinned. This is not part of the plot, but she's got a total rockin' body. And, and, uh, that's part of the reason why you want to watch this movie. And then she's got this son, that's her son, but she's married to this real D-bag, and he is just, just D-bag, 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 and he's got a D-bag son that's not hers. And you're into this because, because you know they're going to break up and you're going to move in on that later. Because why else would she be with this guy if he's not great in bed? I mean, seriously. He's a drunk. He's abusive. It's just every scene with him permeates hate this character Hate this character. Hate this character. He is that much of a D-bag, okay? So they move into a new house, and that and the uh, neighborhood pets are disappearing. All right, so right there, that's a deal breaker for a lot of you folks. I know that, right? It's not really pushed, the, the concept, but it is part of the plot. You don't see any violence, any any graphic violence towards animals. You don't see any graphic violence at all. This is a... I think this is a PG-13. It does not have a rating listed. But uh, anyway, if I were to give it, it would be maybe a, a, even a G. It, it's so, so low. So, yes. Uh, violence against animals, bad, but you don't really see it. It's more, more just talked about. Anyway. So, yes. Animal Control comes in and says, we got ourselves a cougar or a bear. Hot chick mom says, I saw it, ain't no bear. Boy says, I saw it, it's a green man. And husband goes, no, it's a cougar and I'm going to go kill it. Right? So, going any further with uh, this, I would be spoiling, but... You know, this is a, a film that I, I really like the twist. It's a pretty solid twist. But there is a lot to this film that is implied, not stated. You never you never get the full story. You have to derive it from what's happening. And they give you enough evidence to do that. I mean, you know, it's like... Just one of those things is that, so what's really happening to the pets? It's never stated. It's never made 100% clear. There are statements about it, but it, it's sort of like an alien where they say, they cut the power. How could they cut the power? They're animals. They didn't cut the power. You idiots did so much damage inside the reactor that that cut the power. It's part of the emergency shutoff. Anyway... So, for being a movie with terrible CGI, I mean, the CGI is just laughable. It looks like something Disney would do. But, the real monsters in this are people. 
even though there are monsters. And that's the thing that, you know, really gets me about this film, is it's, it's the abusive husband who we should be afraid of. I mean, you know, yeah, there are bears, and a bear might eat you, but that's not nearly as bad as having to live with some douche that throws beer bottles all the time. So, yeah, you know, I have to say that Goblin is put on your watch list. Not high on your watch list. It's not a groundbreaking film, but you know. Oh, I did forget. Yes, there is some nudity which might push this to an R. You see a boob in water. And it is a. This is a really attractive woman. I'm going to say that right now. It's a really attractive woman. And you know, you wish you could see more of her. Uh. Not a big actress. She doesn't even have her picture up on IMDb. Neither do I. I think she's got more credits than I do, though. Let me see. Yeah. Yep. Very active recently, though. In any case, again, very attractive woman. What you see is what you see. If it's going to scratch that itch... If you're looking for gore, you're not going to get that in this movie, though. Okay, This is a movie for the casual, uh, I don't like blood kind of a person. It is worth watching mostly for the storyline. You know, and for what it teaches you. So yes, put this on your watch list. It's actually a really good movie, Goblin uh, 2020. I was surprised. I thought it was going to be awful. Hello there, this is El, Mos El Mouso Fabuloso, and I would just like to say, have you noticed how ridiculously sexy Richard is? Well, yes, he is sexy, and he is helping the environment, promised to take a pound of trash out of the ocean through the company for ocean once he's monetized for every thousand subscribers he gets. He's already paid for two pounds, and as I film this, not even 2,000 subscribers and not monetized. So, so he is just an absolutely fabulous, sexy, sexy man. And you, you, you lucky dog, you can make him even more sexy by commenting and liking this video and giving, giving him that thumbs up and then subscribing and letting everybody know how absolutely sexy he is. Let's make... Let's make Richard the sexiest man on earth, because we all know, we all know he is already, all right? We all know he deserves that. So yes, oh, so sexy. Comment, like, subscribe. I'm sexy too. Sexy in blue.